So if you can't already tell, I'm going to Fredericton, and uh, it's gonna be my first trip alone. First time out of, I'd say, the province alone. And yeah, it should be interesting. I hope to go on a lot more of these trips in the future. I'm so uh, hyped for the trip that I actually started making this vlog about a month before I actually am gonna go on the trip. So what I'll be doing is uh, in the morning of the uh, 23rd, I'll be taking a plane from uh, Ottawa to Fredericton. And then um, I'm gonna stay in Fredericton for a night at a very uh, cheap Airbnb. And then midday the next day, I'm taking a flight back from Fredericton to Ottawa. So it's only a two day trip or one and a half day trip, but yeah. Boom, and just like that. It's uh, the day before the trip. And of course, I just finally now start packing. Uh, I drew up an itinerary about stuff to do. I know it's two pages and I'm only there for less than two days, but still I listed a bunch of stuff that I wanted to do, stuff that I need to pack. I should probably get packing now because otherwise I'm not gonna do it. So I just found out that uh, you're not allowed carry-ons on this flight. So I'm gonna have to uh, try to decrease the weight and the dimensions so I can be able to bring it on the flight because if I can't do that, I'll have to check it in and it's gonna cost like 30 bucks. So it's 6.45 and I just woke up. I'm extremely tired, but I have to go to the airport right now. I managed to uh, make my bag a lot smaller so I'll be able to fit. But yeah, see you at the airport. It looks like our engine's in a stalemate, but it's just the shutter speed. So, I just got into Fredericton, and uh, there's a bigger Aborigines population than I thought. Uh, a lot of people are Aborigines or have some kind of Aborigines uh, uh, like relations here, which is pretty cool. So right now I'm gonna go to uh, the Palette for lunch. I have a uh, bit of time before I need to uh, go and eat because I'm not that hungry yet. So I'm going to go inside this museum. So uh, that was the Fredericton Region Museum in the Garrison District in uh, Officer Square. And very interesting, mostly about uh, Fredericton's uh, history in the war, and its history in general. Uh, there's not that many people there, it's usually uh, just me and uh, another family or two. 
So now I am hungry and it's time to eat. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So this is when stuff started to go sideways. I'll let video Johnny explain it. So this trip did not pan out how I thought it would be. And I uh, suffer a pretty extreme allergic reaction uh, when I go to lunch at this one place. And I'm not talking a tiny allergic reaction. This reaction would change the trip altogether and it would pretty much ruin it. And that's why near the end I stopped recording. So that it might end pretty abruptly. So that was the palette. Uh, really good lunch. It was extremely busy, but the people there are extremely friendly, extremely cooperative. Oh, one sec. That was very interesting to see just as I was walking by talking about the restaurant. But yeah, apparently uh, New Brunswick has a very deep, rich Scottish history, and that's why maybe they're playing the bagpipes. Uh, they have their own part in the Scottish War Regiment or something like that. It's crazy. So now it's time to go to one of the main attractions in Fredericton, Odell Park, which uh, is a big, massive park in the middle of the city, and I'm going to be taking the bus there. So I'm at the hospital in Fredericton right now. I just suffered a massive allergic reaction. Uh, it is 4.30 here now. My reaction occurred around 1.15 and this pretty much just ruined the whole day. I uh, ate something that I was really allergic to, and then um, like I started like getting like hives everywhere, I was swelling up all over, and um, I got really, really sick, and I was lying on the side of a trail in Odell Park, and no, you know, that's not good, so they took me to the hospital in an ambulance, c uh, connected me to a bunch of wires, and uh, gave me Benadryl, and now I'm fine. Just a little allergic reaction. So I'm still gonna keep trying to do stuff today. So I don't think there's gonna be very much commentary for the rest of the vlog, uh, at least today. I'm just gonna be showing uh, all the beautiful things I see here. And that is it. Uh, probably the worst travel vlog you've ever seen and never will seen. Uh, but for some reason, I feel compelled to make more. So you know what? I'll see you next time.